part two. Thank you see that up there. Welcome back to the second half of tonight's Family Fortunes. We're just about to go into double money, but before we do, let me remind you that over here, the Hartnett family have 76 pounds in cash, a tumble dryer and a lovely set of kitchen appliances as personal prizes, while over here, the Pasco family have 167 pounds already, a music center, a computer game, a ladies and gents binoculars, and a digital clock radio. Now, every vote we got in our survey is worth not one pound, but two pounds. That's double money. Jackie, here's Sharon. Sharon, Jackie, 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Five answers to find. Hit the button when you're sure you have an answer. Name something both men and women carry with them. <coughs> Name it, Jackie. Driving license. A driving license. Yes, that's possible. Is a good answer. Driving license. <coughs> Not there. Sharon, have you got a better answer? Money. Darling? Money. Money. Ah, uh -huh. yes, that's perfect. I'm sure. I'm sorry, Jackie. I think that's better. <laughs> I think it's going to be there. Money. Number one. Will you play a part? Play it again. Play, Jack. No conferring by the Hartnets, of course, the Pascos should confer. Kathy, name something men and women carry with them. A comb. A comb. Yes, absolutely right. Of course, both sexes carry a comb. Yes, and it's there. 18 people. Oh, no. Nine people said it. It's worth 18 pounds, Beryl. Umbrellas. Right. Certainly, in this country, it would be wise to go without your umbrella. Nine people said it. It's worth 18 pounds. Brings you scales, towels, and a trainer, and we wish you uh, what that is, I do not know. <laughs> Next. Keys. Keys. Right. Everybody goes around surely with keys. <laughs> and you get a hand-built shopper bicycle to go with that. <laughs> uh, keep your fit, Nick. Jim, look at this. We only need answer number four, and all the money is there. Handkerchief. One of the hanky! Yes! Look at that! 250 quid over here, 167. One of these families will go through the 300 barrier and play for a thousand pounds tonight. That's what I never go without. My watch. I never ever go anywhere without it. It it's, means a lot to me. There's an engraving in it which I find very moving. To the greatest comedian in the world, all my love and my admiration. It's wonderful. I sent myself a card as well, but I've lost that. <laughs> Let's play on. And here we go with only three answers to find. A hundred people surveyed, only three answers on the board. Hit the button when you're sure you've got an answer. <coughs> Name a function at which you might have to make a speech. <coughs> Name it. A dinner. A dinner of any kind? A dinner. <laughs> Got you a nice little prize, a silver-plated tea set and a 44-piece canteen of cutlery. Kathy. A wedding. Looking for a wedding. Number one, will you play a part? Play, I thought you might. Beryl, you've only got to find one answer. And look, you'll play for a thousand pounds tonight because you'll get all that money to add to the 250 you've already won. A presentation. A presentation of some kind like of... Like retirement or... At retirement. Yes. A, pres a retirement presentation is Beryl's, Beryl's hope. We'll find there is answer number three. Yes! Oh, Bridget, Bridget, Bridget. Oh, listen, you've done so well with the Pasco family. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Sid. <laughs> what do you know? Thank you for being with us on Family Fortunes. Have you had a good day? Lovely. Thank you. Travel well back to Annan. Given our love, not of the world. Who's going to play for a thousand pounds? Yes, sir. Front and centre, please. The questions first. Okay, stand by me, Nick. Mer Beryl, will you go off and wear the headset, darling? Yes, and put on the blindfold. Now, Beryl won't be able to hear any of my questions or see any visual clues to what answers you give me. We've already asked these questions of a hundred people nationwide. The 15 seconds won't begin till I've finished reading the first question. So, though it's a long one, your time won't begin until your first answer comes up. You feel set? Yes. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Name an occasion on which gifts are expected. Weddings. Any fizzy drink. Lemonade. A major household appliance. Electric cooker. An animal people train. Dogs. An ex-prime minister. Harold Wilson. Good answer.
Here we go with your answers. We said, name an occasion on which gifts are expected. And you said, weddings. Our survey said, 16 people out of 100 said weddings. Six times. We said, name any fizzy drink. You came up with, lemonade. Our survey said, 19. 35 with two answers is good. We said a major household appliance. You said an electric cooker. Our survey said 56. Remember, you're trying to get to 200 with the help of Beryl, and you win 1,000 pounds, bringing your total winnings to 1,436. An animal people train. We asked you for that, and you said dogs. Our survey said. You said it. You said it. You said it. He said, an ex-Prime Minister. By <laughs> the way, you thought of <laughs> the pound in your pocket. <laughs> Harold Wilson. Hey, our survey says, yeah, 46, 133. Well answered. Back to your family, please. Clear the board, please. Clear the board. Now, it's very interesting what people answer on these surveys. They're good answers we had from Nick there. They're worth 133 on the way to 200. That leaves 67 to get to get that thousand pounds. Oh. Good luck, man. Face front and centre, Beryl, while I give you the good news that if you can make 67 points with your answers, you'll get to 200 and you'll have a thousand pound big money prize to add to what you've already won in the family game. Let's remind everyone at home of the answers that Nick gave us, worth 133. May I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Name an occasion on which gifts are expected. Christmas. Any fizzy drink. Lemonade. Try again. Uh, soda. A major household appliance. An iron. An animal people train. A dog. Try again. A, a tiger. Ex-Prime Minister. Macmillan. Very good. <laughs> now, here we go with your answers. We said, name an occasion on which gifts are expected. You said, Christmas. Our survey said, top answer. <laughs> 179. We said, name any fizzy drink. You said, soda. I said, we said, seven people said soda. 186. Not many to make up. 14 to get there. A major household appliance, we said. You said, iron. I said, we said, six people said an iron. 192. Top answer was vacuum cleaner with a score of 29. An animal people train, we asked you for. You said, a tiger. Hard animal to train. How many people out of 100 said it? I said it. Nah. We need eight points for Macmillan. It's got to be worth eight or more. If it is, you've got the thousand. I said it's head. We're going to take that 195 that you've won in the big money game. We're going to double it. We're going to add it to the 436 you won in the family game. We have a heart-knit family fortune of 826 pounds. Isn't that good? Come to the bosom of your family. Here's your son to give you a big hug. Hug mum. I think she's just a little down. Jim, down. Kissy, kissy. Thank you, darling. Kathy. Next week, our big money prize will be worth £1,500. Join us this week and every week on Family Fortunes. We wouldn't do the same without you. Terry's Lilton Charm steers us through all the blankety blanks. Tonight at quarter past seven on Challenge.